Any free kicks around the box, I'm sure Dell will be will fancy his luck because he's got great technique, as I said earlier. But for me, his delivery from wide areas is, is first class. It's a good ball for Kane. Takes a good touch, comes inside, he's into the box. Kane still going, squares it. Well dealt with. That was a real chance for Shells. And well defended by Sean Rowan, who just turns. Rooney whips it in from the back post towards Cowan. Cowan gets a clean header on it, but it's dealt with by Farrell, only as far as... You mentioned earlier on about Dale Rooney's delivery. He's picked out big Cowan at the back. You can see the respect Shelbourne are paying to draw it in in regards to set pieces, bringing everyone back. Yeah, it's Sean Rowan who gets the last touch on it. Boyd and Moylan. Can't manage to keep it between them. Williams looking to go on behind there. He's got a show to feed. Wasn't on the same page as Massey. But Shell's on the attack. We're bringing news for goal elsewhere, but it's Boyd. And it's a goal from Sean Boyd. It's a brilliant ball in. Excellent shot start for Shelbourne. And Boyd gets the header. And the Reds have found the front foot here at Tolka Park. It's that man again, Sean Boyd. He scored a week ago here against Sligo Rovers. And he has broken the deadlock at Tolka Park, where it's Shelburne 1, Drogheda United 0. Farrell to Boyd to Moylan. Jack Moylan finds Connor Kane. Kane, it's a great save. Brilliant stop from Sam Long. Kane might be disappointed with the finish, Jay. He should have finished that. Good save. From Kane's point of view, he's got to finish. Danger still here. Oh, the final shell ball. Really good. This is lovely from Ledwich. And it's Stan 2 against the goalkeeper. Stanley on the bottom with the keeper to beat. And he just fires it at the draw of the defender. Excellent defender from Shelburne. You can see the defenders, Lukey and O'Driscoll, high five each other. It's lovely from Cameron Ledwich to set Stan on his way. Chris Lyons pulls it across and Brennan skies it. But aside from that, Drogheda have lived off scraps. That is the full-time whistle. It's all over here at Talca Park. And Shelburne have registered back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. Listen, that's what we spoke about in the dressing room before the game. You know, we didn't want last week just to be a one-off. We wanted to put back-to-back -back, uh, wins at home. And uh, look, it was a real hard-fought game. I suppose in the first half there wasn't much in it. But we spoke about a few things at half-time. And sometimes in them sort of games... Opposition set up to where they are, difficult to break down. It comes down to the moment of magic, really, you know, and that's what Shane produced with the ball, and then obviously Sean with a great header, like, and that's basically what uh, won the game, you know.